Okay, so a little bit on the crispy side, but uh, it's okay. I'm so happy though, I have enough for a few days. I was gonna record the whole thing, but this is what I've made on here before. Like I have one recently where I made, I think it was a chicken, sausage, egg, white omelet. Anyway, so egg white, spinach, I used turkey bacon, mushroom, purple onion. I'm going to add a little bit of guac, but like I said, I'm happy that I have enough for a few days because I am trying to get back on my health kick. So yeah. Massive, large grocery haul. So I am going to start with the veggies from the produce market, the farmer's market. So here is all of our lettuce. I have romaine, green leaf lettuce. Um, got some garlic because I love garlic. These are, they were a certain type of cucumber, I forget, but some special kind. Then I got the regular cucumber. Ginger, avocados, purple onion, so many benefits. Got some corn on the cob so I can make some Mexican street corn. Got some tomatoes, although I'm not really supposed to be eating tomatoes like that. But I figure in moderation. I want to um, eat some on salads. Got two bags of spinach, yam, mushrooms, um, sun dried tomatoes, sunflower roasted seeds, sesame sticks. Sesame sticks, love those in salads. Um, got some figs, dried cranberry for salads as well. Then some of these things, a few things came from Aldi, like these blueberries. <clears throat> got some apples. My daughter and our little doggy love apples. And got some oranges. Got grapes for our um, cheese boards that we make. Always forget to get grapes. I'm like, I got grapes. And then also somewhere around here. I have, oh yeah, I addressed that, the dry cranberry. So, yep, that's it. Then I'll put this away and continue on with the haul. So here we go. Mind you, it's the second of the month of February. So this is like my beginning of the month where I just like to get it done and get shopping to last for some weeks. So let's just start with here. Gatorade for my son because he loves it. Applesauce, we like to take our sea moss with applesauce. Some mayo, we were getting low. This raspberry vinaigrette, mustard, olives for our cheese board, honey, black pepper, salt, and garlic salt. I ran out of that. And let's just start with the cheeses. Yeah, yeah, we do cheese in this family. So these are, a lot of these are for when we do our cheese boards, our charcuterie, which we do pretty often. So we got some specialty different like cheese for that. These I got for salads. Um, this is not cheese, but it's hummus to go with um, tortilla chips. It's like a healthier snack. Cheese for different things, salad, tacos. And like I said, the Gouda cheese is for the um, cheese board spread. Then I like to use cream. Yeah, I like to use cream cheese for certain recipes for dessert sometimes. Got some eggs. Got some tomato, basil, brown rice, gluten-free crackers. Love these with our cheese boards. Got some gluten-free cereal. We always get this one. Got my son his cheese crackers. So, let, yeah, let's talk about the snacks. So, for our snack pantry, I got granola, gluten-free for um, our yogurt parfaits. And then I love these, the black bean tortilla chips. The ranch tortilla chips, plain like dip bean tortilla chips with salsa. I just love tortilla chips. I feel like it's a healthier chip. It's not all the sodium that potato chips have in it. So I just personally, it's my go-to like, you know, chip. I just feel like it's slightly a bit healthier. And then got whipped cream from our, for our coffee because we like to pretend it's Starbucks every morning. Chocolate mint ice cream. And then got my favorite. Their turkey bacon is so good at Aldi. Oh my goodness, so good. Then I got this pack of chicken, which I normally don't do it. I buy my chicken from a specialty market where they handle their meat. Well, I buy all my meats from the same market except fish. They don't sell fish. But they handle the animals with care. It's like, to me, the closest you're going to get to organic. But their boneless chicken situation, they don't really have boneless chicken. And I just needed some boneless chicken for when I make my um, salads and stuff. So just decided to get a pack of boneless chicken. But I hardly ever buy chicken beef and stuff like that in aldi but i do get seafood from there then i got some dawn and then i got some candles because aldi candles are so so good so i got this tropical 
a focus this tropical escape scented candle and then these i talked about in um another blog they smelled so good i went i was hoping to see them and they still had them and they were even on clearance for $1.89, the smaller ones. So I got like four of those because, oh my goodness, they just smell so good. Then I'm going to show you the few household items I got. So picked up this spa rug for only $9.99. So cute, right? And I got this for the downstairs bathroom because that's the look that I'm going for. Like that spa filling down there. Um, so I thought this was perfect. You can find some good like home stuff at Aldi. I always tell my mother that camera playing me again then I got this pot this was $12.99 I need some new pots like whoo I need some new pots bad so I got this it's like a sauce pot and their pots are so good like love the quality of them they're all non-stick too and then I got this um pan because I needed a new fry pan again it's non-stick each one was $12.99 and that is all And I said I was gonna be so good. Gluten for punishment. I said it, a gluten for punishment. How did I land in this little French bakery? <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting ready to hop on Zoom with my girlfriend. We're gonna have like Zoom and coffee. So I was like, girl, you know, and this was planned out. I can't act like I just fell in here. It was planned out. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna bring us uh, some baked goods and we're gonna have our coffee. We're gonna catch up. So I'm running late for that. So I better hop on now, but uh, yeah. I had to make a quick Trader Joe's run, and I was not trying to do it, but Dog was running out of his food. This is the only food I buy from him. For him, it's a holistic, natural dog food. It's amazing. It has so many good things in it. If you could, you know, just see. Like, can you believe? I'm like, we should be eating this <laughs> seriously as humans but it has so many benefits and this whole big bag is only $9.99 and this is 6.6 .6 pounds you guys so if you have your doggy I would definitely recommend this dog food you know you know have to know your dog but to me it's just amazing so love it picked up more salmon patties while I was there since it's not like really close to me, picked up more gluten-free waffles. And I picked up this balsamic organic salad dressing because I'm back on my salad kit. And then I also picked up this Romano Caesar dressing. Some frozen cherries. And then of course... <laughs> That is it. So this is going to be a quick little haul starting with Dollar Tree. It's super quick. So I got two new lighters because I need them for my candles and I'm only working with one lighter in here and it's just annoying running back and forth upstairs when I need to light a candle. Then I got their alkaline water. It comes with 50.7 ounces. So this is like the big one that they sell at Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. They have them, you guys, at the Dollar Tree. I think at both places, the big bottles are like $1.49. Dollar Tree, a dollar. So holla. So I just got four bottles. Normally I would get like a case, but... But I've been feeling like I know I need to drink more water. And I think my body is missing the alkaline water. So now from the grocery store, I got these two marinades that I'm super excited about. Um, they're by a brand called World Harbors. Never heard of it in my life. But we have Jamaican jerk style and mango, you guys. I love anything with mango in it. So I'm thinking this will make some good. Like we used to get this jerk chicken salad from this one spot and it was so lit. So I'm thinking that's the kind of vibe or the taste rather it's going to be giving. And then we got this boar heads honey mustard. It just looked fancy and it wasn't too bad for pricing. But what I really went in there for were these for my son. Because they're only $5 at this particular store. He loves the mini croissants. Yes, he's picky. Don't even mention Costco's. 
You get the big one for, I know, but he does not like those because they're not many. He can't just like, I don't know. I don't get it. He just, I guess, likes holding these small ones in his hand. I don't understand. But anyways, the ones at Whole Foods, they're too expensive. $8 a pack and you don't even get as many as this box. So, got him that. Then I got more lettuce because I have been on my salad kick. And then I got something I have not purchased in a while for the house. And that is deli cheese and deli meat. And you know, we use our almond wraps. So I was like, you know what? I'm kind of craving a sandwich. I know my daughter is because she's loving sandwich, but we're trying to back off her bread right now. So we're just gonna use our almond flour gluten-free wraps. So yeah, I got maple honey turkey and buffalo chicken. I love this. And boarhead American cheese. Oh my goodness, boarhead has some amazing cheese, deli meat. So that is it. Super quick. Look how beautiful this chicken buffalo is. And I'm grilling some for the old school. I used to love doing this. I'm going to grill a little bit of the honey turkey too for my daughter. But isn't this beautiful? I'm going to show you guys the other one. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I just want you to know. We've got mail. Oh, Amazon Prime. Let's open this. My Timons Fusion Coffee. You may. Yay! My Timons Fusion Coffee. You may have heard me talk about this. Live better, not bitter. It's low acid coffee. It has super antioxidants, matcha, rubios, goji berries, and it's amazing. I love this coffee. Um, I'm on the like auto shipment for this one with Amazon. And yeah, this is a definite repeat another low acid coffee that i do use is this french roast from um trader joe's this is a um, whole bean but i have a bean grinder i grind my beans so yeah i have this one and i just grind it up put it in like a ziploc bag and yeah but i'm definitely going to have this one this morning i love drinking coffee with benefits so yee Hello, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys some stuff that I got from Home Goods. Of course, <laughs> of course, it's Home Goods. So, remember how I told you I love how Home Goods have these different items that are like made around the world because you guys, the quality is so amazing. But it has this marble base stand. And the quality is amazing. Let me back it up, back it up. And oh my goodness, this thing is so heavy. Look at that price. On sale for $29. Even a lady was like, that is good quality. You're going to have that for a very long time. And I just love different looking pieces like this. This is my jam. So, I need a lamp for my desk area i have one there but i want something that's going to illuminate a little bit brighter in my desk area because i'm finding that's where i'm doing all my editing in my office and then i also needed a table lamp for my upstairs vanity for when i'm doing my makeup so i'll show you the one that i found for that area right here and it was a hard toss up between this other one but i'm going to show you guys why I went with this one. Oh, that's my dog. I have to tilt this down a bit. You guys see that? So here is, it's just a gold. This reminded me recently when we stayed at that hotel and I was able to do my editing and I was just in my, yeah, I just love the lamp um, that was at the desk. Just so simple, so sleek. This just reminds me of those hotel lamps. But what I love, you guys, is the knob turns. So this is going to go like 
in the back of the camera when I'm filming just to brighten up the area. It's perfect. So I even went to, um, I never knew Home Depot had, it's like, oh, that, and then it has the button. I just love a simple table lamp like this. It's, it's just so hotel aesthetic, right? I do need to clean this part though. I'm going to clean that up with some Windex. So super happy about that. That is for my vanity area. And then I never knew light bulbs were so reasonably priced at um, Home Depot. I got the Eco Smart light bulb. So this one takes 25, I think. Let me see. No. What does this say? What was I looking at? Okay, yeah. So this one takes the 25 watts. And I got the one that um brightness and the brightness is 250 so it should be you know bright enough and i get good lighting in that room on a sunny day but i live back east we don't always have sunny days although like the next seven days straight it's going to be sunny loving it and then i also got these bulbs for the other one the 40 watts and these are the clear and these are 350 brightness so this is even better and i'm just so happy about that because it's no like actual light in that office, so it needs to be lit, if you know what I mean. And so then, I also got, oh, this I love. C'est la vie? C'est la vie, is that how you say it? For my daughter's room, I cannot wait. And this was a toss up. You guys, I really wanted this for my office. I really did. But with her French themed Paris room, when I got home, I was like, nah, it's too perfect. So it has the two holes where you can hang it in the back. It's I really don't like hanging things over my daughter's bed, but because it has where you can put the two nails, I think it'll be secure. And then it has a really long cord. And this, that's life. Super, super cute. So... If I had a plug right over here, I would show you guys how it looks lit. But I don't. Hello. Can't do that. Then, oh. This was 49 More than, you know, but come on. I was like, this baby is totally worth it like that. I was just getting all kind of french vibes and it's just perfect for a teenager's room so she's super excited about that then lastly these aren't these pretty they say love on them let me show you love love 4.99 you find the cutest cupcake and like baking accessories at home goods home sense i love home sense too but um yeah i'm so excited you guys because also I am so glad that my friend, because I was like going through all this mess. I tried to take, I didn't try. I forgot to take the camera with me to film like the whole process of me trying to find a kitchen island. So we had gotten a gift card when we first um, moved to this place from the cable company. You know, that incentive. I wasn't happy about leaving my old cable company, but whatever. So new one offered us like that nice gift card incentive. So I was like, let's just use it towards something we can all agree, something in the house that we can all use. So we decided to go with the kitchen island. Well, um, after looking high and low, I thought I was going to go with one on Amazon. Then I decided to go with one at Home Depot. But I was like, let me go in the store since I had this gift card because I will have to pay a very small difference amount. So maybe if I go in, I'll be able to do that. When I get in there, they swipe the card. It act like it took the card, but we knew it didn't because all the money wasn't on there. So now I have to wait for the money to be back credited to the gift card, which is fine because I was like, I'm just going to pay for it myself. The Visa gift card is like money. You can use it anywhere. So that's how we're going to do this moving forward. But then I had decided that I didn't even want to go with the color. So first, though, as I'm leaving Home Depot, let me just order it myself. Ordered it, then I was like, you know what? I don't want the black one. We do have pops of black, and I'll put pictures up because I don't feel like moving at the moment of the kitchen. But we do have splashes of black, but I was like, no, it's not sitting well with me. I think I want to get white now. 
anyways, I was getting, so I canceled that order and I was like, let me go ahead and order the white one. And then my friend, I was talking to her today and she was like, girl, I found all of my stuff, a lot of it on Facebook Marketplace, the stuff for, you know, my apartment. I was like, yeah. So she was saying she found a lot of the stuff for her home on Facebook Marketplace. So I was like, oh, you know what? I have been on there before and I was looking for islands recently. I really didn't see anything, but let me just check. This woman just posted like 15 minutes ago when I seen it, the absolute perfect kitchen island. When I show, let me put in screenshots. Well, by now I will have it when I film this. So I'll just show you guys. I can't believe how perfect it matches the cabinetry and everything. And I got it for a deal and it's put together. That's the thing. I'm just like, thank goodness. I didn't want to go through the whole assembling, putting it together. I just like to bring things in into the house. So can I tell you guys how happy I am? So I'm getting ready to film a video. It's a wig tutorial. I'm super excited about this. I haven't done a wig tutorial in so or wig review rather in so long. And I'm super excited to share you guys. I'm super excited to share this wig with you guys because for you wig wearers out there, the quality is amazing and it's super affordable and it's off Amazon. So look out for that video. It will be coming up soon. But yeah, going to start filming that because I'm supposed to go pick up this thing later around 4 o'clock, which means I'm going to have to leave by 3 and I need to hit this face. So let me get to it. I will be back soon. I don't know when, but I will be back soon. Okay, so this is the one that I am going to change out. Yeah, I don't think I have it pulled. No, so where can I set you guys up? Perfect. Okay, so I don't have this baby out. I'm gonna move this out. I love it. Okay, so let me put the bulb in here first. We're going to put these in. What? Why is this not going in? There. Okay. we go so pretty I love it and now it's lit you really can't appreciate it because there is some lighting in here because it is daytime although it's cloudy but at night it's gonna be so nice I just love it yeah that's my son's little switch charger you know what this can go in his room now because he has more outlets yeah let's take this out I love this oh my goodness yes you can't even appreciate, well, I'm going to lighten it up um, when I edit, but oh my goodness, just too cute. Absolutely love. So I never thought these were pretty, and since I have extra, I'm going to change both of those both of these rather right now because never thought these were cute at all what a difference what a difference this makes and by the way I picked these lampshades up from Burlington got them for a really good deal but oh my goodness that looks so much better and word to the wives be careful whenever you're changing light bulbs because if one accidentally breaks that exposes you to mercury crazy right I never I never knew that until I don't know I found out like maybe four or five years ago and I was so happy I did because I never knew that so FYI but yes there's let me show you guys the other 
Looks so good. Still have this mirror on the floor. I don't know where I want to put it. Still dealing with this situation under here. Don't know where I want this to go either. We'll figure it out. But I love And as I was looking for um, 25 watts, which I don't have, it says Type B on the um, lampshade. So I'm going to have to exchange that. But I noticed that these do say Mercury Free. So... Yep, I guess you can find bulbs in Mercury Free, and that's probably the best way to go. I'll make sure I pay attention to that when I purchase them from here on out. Ooh, excuse me. The amount of times my camera played me is just not even fair. All the reasons I had to order another camera, same camera, but this one is glitching, but I cannot complain. It's been rough. It's been tough. It's been getting me through, but it was time to reorder another one. Same camera, because I love this camera. But anyways, yeah, baby is getting old, so I got to back up because I know this one is on its way out. Back to what I was saying. This is like one of my favorite things that my mom has ever given me. These North Face gloves. Oh, they even have the hook, like the details. Oh my goodness, you guys. I was going crazy looking for these the last Saturday when it had snowed because it was freezing outside. And these keep your hands so warm. It's like they have a built-in insulator. And I was like, where are they at? And then I find them like a week later in this random drawer. I would have never looked there. It's like where we keep our remotes and stuff. Like so random. But it kind of makes sense because we would keep keys in that drawer sometimes. So I'm assuming I came in the old. So I'm going to assume when I came home, I must have threw them in the drawer in our old house. But yeah, so happy that I found these. I mean, the snowstorm, you know, is over. It is past. But living back east for winters, it's just good to have these. You guys, it's going to be in the 50s next week. And even like this weekend, I will take it. 